And to stay up to date, hit the subscribe button and the bell icon. Hi everybody, Ira Miller here with ERA Grizzard Real Estate, the village's expert. Today we're coming to you from the infamous Villages Golf Cart Bridge. So this is the start of the bridge that is gonna tie in the new Finney, McClure, Linden, Marshbend, that whole area over there to the rest of the villages. So we're out here on Highway 44. The entrance to Brownwood is right behind us. But as you can see, we have the golf cart bridge with the big the villages lettering on it. Golf carts will come across that bridge. The wall is constructed on this side of the bridge and they're still working up there. But then it'll take you down to this um, steel bridge going across the water. And then you'll see that building in the distance and that's Brownwood. So this is the uh, start and termination point of going into Brownwood from the new area where the villages are building homes. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take you on a road trip today because we're not just staying here, we're not stopping here. We're gonna go out on the turnpike and we're gonna show you where another piece of the bridge is going across the turnpike and then we're gonna show you the newer area. Hopefully we'll tie all that together with the drone videos. So what we're gonna do is we will go up in the drone Starting here, I'll send the drone out a little ways to see if we can trace some kind of semblance of a uh, golf cart path. And then we'll get in the car, we'll go out to the turnpike, show you that area, and then take the drone and hopefully come back this way with the drone, okay? So we'll see how this turns out for us. And uh, if you have any questions, what we'll do is we'll keep coming back. We'll give you um, more and more ideas of the completion of the golf cart bridge because I don't see a wall like I see over here. So there's still quite a bit of work that has to go in on that side of, um, of this bridge. So if you're ready, let's go on our road trip. Okay, so there we go with the drone. We're gonna take you up in the air and we'll narrate as we go. So we're just now getting over the top of it. Let's see if we can pan down. There we go. Let's get a little bit more over the top. And then let me kind of pan around here and take and show you this way going into Brownwood. And you can see the workers below. And then that's the way the golf cart bridge will go. And then again, you can see the, the metal bridge we showed you from the ground. And then there's Brownwood. All right, so let's go ahead and pan around now and see if we can look back to the newer area and see what we can see that way. So there's the bridge. We're going to go ahead and see if we can't find a, a way that that golf cart bridge might be coming in. There's part of Buena Vista Boulevard that is uh, going to extend out. I 
I don't really see how that golf cart path might be coming in here. Let's take a look down. <clears throat> Gonna kind of maybe back into it. So that's a little trailer park. And we'll kind of slide over to the side. All right, so now we're perpendicular with the golf cart bridge and let's see if we can not pan around and get an idea of where this golf cart path might be coming through looks pretty populated through there but possibly right on through this way So we'll go out a little bit with the, with the drone. Give you a little look-see here. So there's a path right out there. Let's see if we can go up a little bit higher. So that looks like the path. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and um, it's, it's, it's quite a few miles, all right? So my drone only goes out four miles. I don't think I'll be able to get out to the turnpike. So we're gonna go ahead and head back and um, head on out to the turnpike and give you a little shot from that way. How's that? All right, so the drone is coming home while we wait for it to come home. It's gonna come right back to us. It has an automated uh, GPS system that brings it right on back home. So um, again, we'll give you a little shot around to where uh, Brownwood is over here and um, jump in the car when the drone gets back and head out onto the turnpike. All right, so we'll see you out on the turnpike. All right, so here we go. This is the turnpike right up here in front of us. We're on Highway uh, uh, 301. To the right is I-75. If you want to take I-75 north. To the left is going to be the turnpike, and that is where the new area is. Now, if we kept going straight Pat, about two miles, you'd come to uh, Warm Springs Boulevard, which is um, the, the road that takes you into the new area. So, um, so you see all that traffic going that way. A lot of them, I would bet you, is going to Warm Springs. But we're gonna get on the turnpike because this is, Best way to show the progress of the golf cart bridge. All right, so here we are out on the turnpike, and uh, as you can see, across the other side of the turnpike is another metal structure which is part of the golf cart bridge that is going to come across the turnpike here. So 
that's about all that we can see from here, and it looks like that's all they have. So we'll go ahead and uh, pan around and show you what the opposite side looks like. Looks like there's a rec center over there in the distance and then a wall, so that could possibly be a future villa neighborhood. But so you can see the way that they are starting to um, develop more towards the golf cart bridge. All right, so um, what we're gonna do, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna continue down um, the turnpike here. And we're gonna show you more of the development of both sides of the turnpike that's part of the, de the uh, village's development. So we wanna kind of get you, while we're here, seeing, seeing kind of uh, how things look from this perspective. I, I think you'll agree this is a unique perspective being out here on the interstate rather than over there inside the, uh, the, village commu the village's community. All right, so um, we're gonna go ahead and pack up. We're gonna go ahead and give you a few shots from inside the car. We'll go ahead and stop down um, where the bridge is that we would have come across had we wanted to come over into the, we're gonna call it the new area because there's so many villages in that area now. We're just gonna go ahead and call it the new area, but there's a bridge. If you'll, Christian, if you'll pan down all the way down the interstate and zoom in on that bridge. You can, uh, you'll see a bridge way down there. That's where we're headed. You might see some vehicles going across uh, right there. But um, let's go ahead and take the drone up first from here, and then we'll pack up and we'll head down, okay? So stay tuned for the drone. All right, so here we go. We're gonna take off and we're gonna give you an aerial view of that bridge. And then we'll see if we can possibly find the rest of the, uh, of the golf cart path. All right, so there's the bridge itself. All right, let's go ahead and uh, see if we can follow that around. There we go. so there's a lake in front of us so we certainly can't go through the lake so it must go that way so let's go ahead and follow it around for a little bit we'll come on down just a little bit of a little better perspective. So as you can see, there's a lot of navigating that's going to go around. It's not a straight shot to get over there to Brownwood, that's for sure.
right, so... <clears throat> So that's, that's giving you a really good idea of how that golf cart path is gonna play out here for you. Um, we're still going towards Brownwood and um, coming up to some construction work. I think we're gonna go ahead and turn it around. I'll give you a little um, so pan down a little bit. I'll go back up. And you can see how that golf cart path winds its way around. And I'm gonna go up a little bit, see if maybe we can possibly get a shot of brown wood for you. All right, so we're as high as we can get. We're gonna go ahead and bring it back though, okay? So um, hopefully you enjoyed seeing the new golf cart path coming from the new area to Brownwood. So let's go ahead and go on down and I'll show you a little bit of uh, the new area of the villages from the Turnpike, okay? All right, so we're coming up on some of the uh, completed area here. Uh, you can see some homes over there to the right. That's the, uh, I guess, I'm not sure what area that is. I, I can't remember. It's not the Marsh Bend, it's the one after Marsh Bend. But there's both sides of the highway that's, that has uh, been cleared and has site work being done. This is the Marsh Bend area over here to our right. And there's some of the golf cart path going across there. And then we're coming up to the um, Everglades Recreation Center. So this bridge that's in front of us, uh, that's what's going over to the new part of the villages. So we're gonna pull over here uh, shortly. So to our right is the Everglades Recreation Center. A little hard to see, I know. But I wanted to get down here a little bit closer. We have this service plaza right up here. And show you some of the homes that, uh, that the villages have completed. This is the Linden area now that we're coming up on. So that's Linden over there. And you know, something I'm really surprised about, all up and down this turnpike, you will see, you will see homes built up and down this turnpike. But you will also see a wall, it's a sound barrier. And I guess uh, they're thinking that this berm with these, uh, with these hedges on top of it is going to be good enough. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and uh, we've jumped out of the car and we're going to shoot a little bit of um, the homes that are along the interstate here that we just showed you from the car. 
You can see the bridge up there in the distance. And uh, this is the Linden area. So let's go ahead and we're gonna go on up a little bit and then we're gonna swing it around and come back. Okay. There's a little um, over here to our right. That's a water treatment center. All right, there's the bridge. And uh, actually, that community right there in, the, in, the, in front of us is the Linden area. And this is uh, the newest area of the villages. We're gonna go ahead and um, report to you from, uh, from the ground <clears throat> along these homes. So they have the berm and then all of a sudden the berm disappears. the idea behind that was, but uh, we'll go ahead and take a shot from, um, and that's all the area that they have to develop. So that gives you a little 360 degree angle of the community along the uh, turnpike here. <clears throat> All right, so what we're gonna do is um, bring the drone home and uh, we're gonna go ahead and give you a little ground level shot of these homes that are right over here to, uh, to my right, to Christian's left. And uh, we'll go ahead and, let's go ahead and uh, do a little reporting from down there. Okay, so uh, guess what? We decided to bring you out here since we were already on the turnpike filming the golf cart bridge. I have had questions from viewers as to um, how close are the homes to the turnpike? Well, there's the village's homes right here. And here's the turnpike. There's the Yokohamka Service Plaza. You can see where it says, Welcome to Florida's Turnpike, the less stressway. Um, and uh, some people wanted to know, well, what is the sound like with the traffic? I don't know if you can tell. And I don't know how much it really affects those homes or not. Um, up and down the turnpike, though, you will see other developments that do have walls that go across there, but maybe these homes are sitting off far enough from this turnpike not to be affected by uh, any of the noise from the traffic. But as we showed you just a little bit ago, there was a berm with some hedges uh, planted on top of that berm but I don't really see anything behind these houses. So uh, anyways, just wanted to kind of report to you uh, as I always do. And um, if I can be of any service to you, please give me a call at 352-454-9561. If I can answer any questions or if you'd like to get with me, when you come to visit, I'd be more than happy to sit down with you, show you some homes, show you around the villages. If you're looking outside the villages, I show homes outside the villages as well. That's why um, my, my email address and my website are homes around the villages. Homes in around the villages and homes outside and around the villages. So, telephone number 352 454-9561. You can call or text on that number. Or you can email me at homesaroundthevillages at gmail.com. I'll be more than happy to answer any of your questions. Uh, please give me your comments on, uh, on these videos. If you have any suggestions, I'm more than open to um, uh, 
to provide whatever information you're looking for. I did have a text. I want to thank that person. They didn't give me their number, but they asked me about the village of Chitty Chatty. I've never heard of the village of Chitty Chatty, but apparently there's going to be a village called the village of Chitty Chatty. So I don't know what more to say about that. But to that person, thank you for asking about that. We're uh, working on getting some information about where that might possibly be. They asked me when that area was going to open up. Never even heard of it, so I have no idea when it's going to open up. And that's unusual for me not to know something. So thank you again for your comments, um, suggestions, and I look forward to them. And I look forward to seeing you in my next video as well.